Hi, I thought today we'd do a reading from the book written by the physicist Richard Feynman. And let's see if I can get you to see a picture of him. There's Richard Feynman. He's a famous physicist. He's now dead. He worked at Caltech for some time and is known around the world for his work in f nuclear physics. And in addition to being a physicist, he had really a lot of hobbies. And in fact, he knew people from all different fields in academia and outside academia. And so he was broadly knowledgeable and he had some almost philosophical ideas about science and the perception of the natural world. And I'm going to read to you an essay by him that's found in his book, What Do You Care What Other People Think? And the part that I'm going to read to you is from an essay entitled The Making of a Scientist. And so it's autobiographical about his growing up, but the segment I'm going to read to you is a story that I, I hope will maybe have some meaning to you over the next few years. All right. I have a friend who's an artist, and he sometimes takes a view which I don't agree with. He'll hold up a flower and say, look how beautiful it is, and I'll agree. But then he'll say, I, as an artist, can see how beautiful a flower is. But you, as a scientist, take it all apart and it becomes dull. I think he's kind of nutty. First of all, the beauty that he sees is available to other people, and to me too, I believe. Although I might not be quite as refined aesthetically as he is, I can appreciate the beauty of a flower. But at the same time, I see much more in the flower than he sees. I can imagine the cells inside, which also have a beauty. There's a beauty not just at the dimension of one centimeter, there's also beauty at a smaller dimension. There are complicated actions of the cells and other processes. The fact that the colors in the flower have evolved in order to attract insects to pollinate it is interesting. That means insects can see the colors. That adds a question. Does this aesthetic sense we have also exist in lower forms of life? There are all kinds of interesting questions that come from a knowledge of science, which only adds to the excitement and mystery and awe of a flower. It only adds. I don't understand how it subtracts. And so that's the first page in the first essay in Feynman's book, What Do You Care What Other People Think? And I hope you'll think about that essay. What does it mean to you? What do you think? Do you think that understanding the scientific processes and the scientific detail adds to the aesthetic of the natural world and your appreciation of it? Or do you think it detracts and that when we study too deeply, then we start to lose that sense of wonder? So that's a question for you. Maybe we can talk about it a little bit in class. Bye.